Hello, my name is Anna Lynch. I work at the National Portrait Gallery, managing the hospital's programme. I'm an art historian and a teacher, and I'm really interested in the way that art can tell a story of the past and the present, and how artists can capture what's going on at the present time. I'm also really interested in science and art and how the two interrelate. That's the reason I've chosen Sir Paul Nurse, a sitter in the National Portrait Gallery collection, who is a famous scientist. And having looked at the artworks of Sir Paul Nurse and having found out a bit more about his work and his life, I have come up with some artistic projects for you that are linked with science. And I'm going to show you now how to create some beautiful patterns using found objects and petri dishes. This activity uses petri dishes or culture dishes that are used in laboratories. I chose these because I noticed them in a photograph in the collection of Sir Paul Nurse, where you see him standing in his lab and in the foreground are shelves filled with scientific materials, including these culture dishes or petri dishes. Now in a lab, these would be filled with a kind of gel and inside the gel will be held uh, cells or slices of organisms that can then be looked at through a microscope. Here, I'm being creative with them and I've decided to create some pretty looking dishes uh, with patterns using found objects. So I've got some flowers from my garden. Um, I've got some beads from my children's toy boxes. And I've also found some lovely buttons from my mother and grandmother's collections <clears throat> over the years. And I'm going to choose these and uh, make another pattern for you to show you what you might do with these dishes. Now, I could glue these on if I want to keep these in place for some time, or I could just temporarily lay things down in a pattern and experiment and then change the pattern. So these could be just temporary dishes filled with different objects that I could then take pictures of, I could draw them. Scientists often use drawing as a way of really understanding what they're looking at. I'm just gonna carry on filling this dish, creating a pattern. You might have a magnifying glass that you could look down to really investigate the pattern, the fine pattern and detail on these things. If you don't have a magnifying glass, don't worry. Um, you can make one out of a plastic dish like this. You could use the top of a yogurt pot. You could use the bottom of a plastic empty container of a drink. Now I've just filled that with water. And if you look underneath, it then creates a magnifying glass. You can really look closely at the things that you are observing as a scientist. Science and art really crosses over. And I think that's something that is not often acknowledged. But there is a lot of art and science, and there's a lot of science and art. Have a go at some of my other science-inspired activities um, that you can see in the activity prompts 